JavaScript algos and data structures in the ES6 course. So today we are going to create a module script. Okay, so this is basically, um, once again, read through this. Basically, this is explaining how JavaScript started to play a small role in the internet, and now some sites are almost entirely made of JavaScript. So in ES6, we were introduced to modularization of JavaScript files. Uh, this involves ex exporting parts of a file for use in one or more other files and importing only the parts you need where you need them. This, uh, in order to take advantage of functionality, we need to create a script in the HTML document with a type module. So specifically, this is what's new about ES6. We've always linked, well, I don't know about always, but previously, before ES6, we would still link a script tag to a HTML file to give it interactivity and... Um, you know, connect the JavaScript to the HTML. But in ES6, we were given the type module, where now we can import export features, uh, which, as it says, we'll learn about in the upcoming challenges. So all we have to do now is just add a script tag to this HTML here. Um, you've probably done this before. Just add a script, give it the source attribute and the file that you want to add. In this case, it's index.js, and then got to add the closing script tag too. So if you haven't gone through the HTML CSS section of free code camp definitely want to go through that before you get into any of the JavaScript stuff but this should be pretty um, pretty much muscle memory from this point so let's go ahead and indent here and then say okay script opening and then let's close it with the script closing there we go and now we just need to add the type of module because that's what it says here document type module because this specifically again is what is new with ES6 uh, the module type of JavaScript files. So let's add the type attribute equals quotes module. And then we also need to give it the source src equals, and then we're going to call this index.js. So index.js. There we go. Run the test. That's all we had to do for that one. So once again, guys, this is not new to ES6, just adding a script to your HTML. It is the type of module where we're modularizing our uh, our JavaScript so we can only import the ports the parts excuse me the parts of it we need and reuse it in, in as many places as possible. All right, so I hope that helped. See you guys in the next challenge.